Hey, Jess Mason here. No, this is not a stethoscope. It's a Minnesota tube. And that's because I want to share with you something that I find challenging about this procedure. I wanna talk about when to do it because I think that is the hardest decision to make. Now I've thought about this a lot over the years and based on my opinion and some evidence, but mainly my opinion, here's what I think about when you should pull the trigger on putting in a Minnesota tube or a Blakemore tube. If the patient has an upper GI bleed and they are sick enough that they need to be intubated, you should probably tube them with one of these as well. And here's why. If you wait and you're like, well, you know, they're kind of stable and I'm giving them blood and resuscitating them and I'm gonna get them up to the Mickey as fast as possible. That next episode of hematemesis could be the catastrophic one. You don't want that happening while they're in the ED and you don't want that happening when they're in the MICU just because it's someone else's problem to deal with. I think our window to intervene and potentially save a life is in that patient who is quasi stable, but kind of getting worse and you intubate them. That should be the stopping point where you say, hey, if I've had to tube them, I probably need to tube them with one of these two.